Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So in this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of your background using Photoshop CS6. Now in our previous video, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description and also at the end of this video, we showed how to blur our background. So let's get started with this tutorial. So what we need to do is here's our original image and we're going to make a copy of this background layer. That's just something I always like to do by left clicking, holding and dragging down to this paper icon. We're going to hide this background layer and we're just going to keep the background copy highlighted. And what we need to do now is go to our tools uh, panel and click on the quick selection tool here. Now the quick selection tool selected, we're going to um, left click and hold and drag over the item that we want highlighted. In this case, we're just going to drag over all these petals. And don't worry if it gets on the outside or if it's not perfect to begin with, we're going to take care of all that right now. Now, as you can see, um, it's selected some of the uh, outside of the petals layer. And you can see the plus sign in the middle of the circle. If I hold the Alt key, the plus sign will turn into a minus sign. If I release the Alt key, it turns back into a plus sign. So the plus sign will be used for everything inside the image that we want to cut out and the minus sign will be used for everything on the outside that we want to to, uh, to take back in. So we're going to do that now using the minus sign. I'm just going over this. Now what I'm going to do also um, right quick you can resize your brush by using the bracket keys as you can see on your keyboard. Using the bracket keys will resize your brush and I'm just going to fast uh, motion uh, this portion right here so I can cut this out um, and you'll see me resizing my brush and uh, reducing uh, using the plus and minus keys uh, to get this edge nice and cut out so I'm gonna do that right now And I think that looks pretty good. A little bit more right here. <clears throat> and that looks all right. Maybe a touch there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to uh, inverse the selection because right now um, the just the main flower here is selected, but we want to select the background. So what we're going to do with the quick selection tool still selected, we're going to right click on the image and go select inverse. You can see the marching ant. So now the background is selected. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to refine the edge. There, um, there's a button here, refine edge. And if you don't have that button, you can go to select and refine edge. So we're going to go and refine edge. And here under the view, you have different uh, ways that you can view this. I'm going to just have mine on black and white. And as you can see, if I zoom in just a little bit here, you can see like there's some jagged edges here and we're just going to um, make them a little smoother. So we're gonna click on the smooth here under adjust edge and you can see it's starting to smooth it out a lot more, making it look a lot better. I'm also gonna pop it out a little bit more by using my contrast and that looks good to me. So click OK. And now what we need to do is we need to deselect the uh, marching ants here. Well, before we do that, we're actually going to make a copy of this background layer. So click hold, drag to the paper icon to make a copy. And with the first, with the background copy to um, selected, you're going to hit the backspace key or your delete key. And you can see it cut it out for us nicely. Now we're going to um, deselect the marching ants by clicking uh, on your keyboard, Control D or Command D, I believe, on a Mac. Now once that's done, you want to click on the background uh, copy layer. Go down to your adjustment layer, which is a circle here, and go to hue and saturation. Now with the hue and saturation, you can see the layer here. It's going to affect everything below um, 
below its layer. But if you want it to just affect just um, the layer right below it, you want to click between these two lines, but you want to hold Alt, and you can see this little arrow up here. Once you see that arrow up here, left click one time, and what it's going to do is it's just going to affect just the layer that's um, underneath it. So now that we have that, we can click on the circle here and bring up our hue and saturation. And this is where we can change our background. And you can see as I'm moving it, background's changing. And you can just pick whatever you'd like. Um, I think that looks nice. And we'll leave it like that. And now just to beef it up a little bit, make it a little uh, uh, more vibrant, we're going to click on our top layer here. And we're going to go back to the adjustments layer and click on curves. Once we're in curves, we see this, see this line here, excuse me. And we're just going to draw it back, bend it back just a little bit, and bend the top just a little forward here. And that looks good. And then we're also going to click on the adjustment layer. And we're going to go to levels. And I'm going to make it just a little bit darker here. That looks good. That looks pretty good. And now you know how to change the background um, on your image. Well, I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video, please subscribe, and comment if you'd like. Thanks for watching.